We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We happy Vlogmas Day 2. It's uh, just before 6 a.m. and I am off to go to my group training class. God, I'm so puffy. I'm just thinking, you guys could be my accountability buddies this month. I mean, what a great time to start health and fitness in December, right? <laughs> Anyhow, um, I am going to exercise now and it will look weird if I'm talking to a camera on my way. So we'll see you later. So given that it's all wet, we are going to be in this undercover area today, but usually we exercise out in the open which is great it gets really hot under here it's pouring rain and i'm walking home in it yay so much for a merry and bright australian christmas i am drenched <laughs> um i'm gonna go and put on something dry and grab a coffee and tell you about what i'm planning to get up to today well i decided just to have a shower because <laughs> it was very wet very, very wet, and I was dripping <laughs> from my clothes all over the house. So I decided to have a shower. I'm gonna make myself a coffee, and then we will sit down and have a conversation about what's happening today. Um, not how you usually see me, but it's a vlog, right? So uh, here's my coffee. It's the cafe that is closest to us um, changed hands. We have been drinking the espresso veludo at home. And honestly, the double espresso scuro is beautiful. And I received these new mug slash cups the other day. They're handmade. They're by Saltwater Designs, I think. Um, sea salt sea salt designs by sarah how gorgeous are they um they're fully glazed around the edge kind of looks like uh, ocean foam on sand it's well on our sand anyway um they just they're just beautiful to drink out of perfect size so uh yeah today vlogmas day two to be honest this is probably my first proper vlogmas because or well, vlogmas day Mm -hmm. because doing the tree was pretty easy I wasn't kind of giving you a day in the life and there will be a mix of luxury and vlog content and there will be a mix of a day in the life and just sit down videos as well because you know keeping it interesting one thing that has come though is um if anybody's familiar with these kind of shipping boxes is the giveaway that I mentioned. Uh, yeah, it's from Louis Vuitton. Stay tuned till later on and I'll reveal what it is and how you can enter. But I mentioned that yesterday in day one and um, I'm, yeah, I'm really excited to be doing a giveaway to celebrate Christmas. So stay tuned so you can uh, get the details on how you can enter that. So today I've got a little bit of work planned. I have got to take Alfie, um, my big Maltese Shih Tzu, to get a groom. And his little sister Edwina will not be happy about that because they are like, they're never separated. So she's usually very clingy when Alfie's not around. Um, I'm taking you on a wardrobe tour today as well. So yeah, that should be enough for some good Vlogmas content to put on in the background. I'd really love to know what you're doing when you're watching 
vlogs because I kind of just have them on when I get ready for the day or when I'm doing housework or whatever um, and in the background when I'm when I'm working um, so yeah I'm kind of keen to know what you do I am going to put on the mask that I got in my first day of the beauty advent calendar too um, because it's a peel off mask and I have time so I might do that this morning as well and do a bit of a mini review on how I find that because I've just washed my face so now appears to be a good time. Um, a big shout out too to some fellow vlogmases, uh, people that I know that are doing vlogmas and if I discover any more I will mention those in days to come. My good friend Connor, he's doing Connor's Christmas, uh, so he's making up his own rules, which, you know, he always does, and you will see Connor in my Vlogmas as well, because we have a date tomorrow, actually. Uh, we're going to a Louis Vuitton cocktail party, so that will be fun. Um, Gwenny, uh, by Style by Gwenny, so she is in England, and she is doing Vlogmas English style. You've got Autumn Beckman, the original Vlogmas Queen, and she's doing Vlogmas in Texas. And then you have Yota style, and I think Yota is in Alabama. But um, each of those um, lovely YouTubers will always bring some great content. If you'd like to get some Vlogmas insights from people from different countries, I think, you know, Vlogmas is yeah, it's just a really nice time of year. I know I like waking up and watching a vlog. Um, and if there's some luxury mixed in, even better. So I do have some unboxings for you as well during Vlogmas, because I said that I was going to keep it interesting. I also have to decide on whether or not I'm going to sell my Chanel 19. So stay tuned for that, because a lot of people have contacted me um, in relation to that bag. And I have said that um, I will announce it on YouTube because my YouTube community is the biggest community so in order for it to be fair I'll announce my decision here on YouTube and then if I decide to sell how I'm going to go about doing that so if you are interested in that Chanel 21p caramel 19 bag and you want to know whether or not it's coming up for grabs stay tuned for that one too okay so here's the mask that I got in my peony parcel Advent calendar for day one. It says to open it, holding the tube upright and paint a small, and paint a small, paint a thin layer onto my face with a brush. So. if you can see this let me go to the window but it's kind of like a golden metallic mask it's um it smells so fresh and citrusy I says to leave it on for 30 minutes so I'll leave it on for 30 minutes and do some work well now I'm running late to take Alfie for his haircut because I thought it was a 12 30 drop off when it was an 8 30 drop off so I'm not at all ready I've just peeled my mask off my face is pink as hell I've got Eddie in the back and Alfie in the front here on a towel because it's raining Alf show everyone the before photo so everyone before and there's Alfie before he hates getting haircuts so um I am going to get him to the hair appointment and hopefully not get in trouble for being late and uh, I will chat to you on the way home. What are you doing in there? Hey well, the 
there was someone who was more scared of going to get their hair cut than Alfie and they had crapped all over the floor. I am back home now and um, I have my second coffee. I'm gonna take you on that closet tour. My face is like fairly shiny and less wrinkled. <laughs> Uh, but that mask was something else. Anyway, um, I will try it again during Vlogmas, but um, I'm gonna take you on my closet tour now. A lot of people have asked me, uh, most recently Patty. So Patty, this one's for you. It's not very interesting. It's just a regular person's very small spare room converted into a temporary closet. Um, but I hope you enjoy. Okay, so here is my wardrobe tour. Now, first things first, this room was always going to be a temporary fix. So we do actually have plans to refurb this room. When I say temporary, it was so that it could be converted back into the bedroom that it was, a tiny bedroom at that. Um, but now we have decided to stay in this house. Um, it makes sense to look at something a little more permanent. So. What you see here um, is likely to change. So we've got like a double French door situation going in. Uh, as I said, this was a spare bedroom, but it's pretty small, hey? Um, I've got this cabinet here um, and it was, again, a temporary fix. Um, in here, I've got things that I would put in my bag um, from time to time. And I also have dust bags, lots and lots of dust bags filed in there. Uh, my filming equipment, which is like a little phone stand and a Yeti microphone. It's pretty basic. Um, this is where I sit to film in front of this window. And at the moment, uh, I am just about to film my what I got for my birthday, which you would have seen by now. So it's not normal that I would have a male flower trunk in my wardrobe. I've got a big jewelry box over here. Um, and under here, I've got this massive big Valentino bag. Um, and inside of this, I have my Louis Vuitton Epi Speedy 35, my first bag never gets used, nowhere else to keep it. So I just keep them down there. Um, then <laughs> inside of this basket under the cabinet, I've got a whole bunch of travel things. So I've got my Prada Galleries tote. Um, I've got a document holder. And then inside of those bags is just packing pouches and things, travel hair dryer. So that when I travel for work, everything is very easy to get to. Um, inside of these drawers here, I've got all my SLGs and spare phones. And in this one, I've just got some little jewelry pouches, more SLGs, a little shoehorn, and my famous, fabulous, not famous, fabulous, Netta Porter measuring tape. Comes in very, very handy. Um, some things I won't go into detail because, you know, privacy. Uh, I have this tripod here that I use sometimes if I'm filming at nighttime or in different locations. It's got a ring light and a phone holder on it. Then we come to shoes. Um, lots of shoes, sneakers, boots, slippers, sandals in here. And then behind there we have more <laughs> shoes as well. Uh, then we've got all sandals along here. We've got ankle boots. We've got designer sneakers. We've got designer flats. We've got designer pumps and sandals. <laughs> and then we've got some mixture of designer and high street shoes. And then right at the top, we have the designer shoe boxes. Some of them have shoes in them as well. Uh, my Neverfull GM is here. And inside of it is my Neverfull MM, which you can probably just see there. Um, storage is tight, so we've got to make take advantage where we can. Got my little chair that I use for filming. I've actually taken the doors off this built-in wardrobe so that I can access things a bit more easily and use this wall for space instead of having a door opening onto it. So you can see here I have shorts and pants and blazers and then up the top I have all my tops and blouses and they're mostly colour coded. Uh, and I did do a bit of a project earlier this year where I went and bought all matching hangers. And I tell you what, it's made my life so much easier. You can fit a whole lot more in on these velvet hangers. 
and I'll see if I can just show you one. So they're very thin and the velvet kind of helps the um, camis especially stick to it so they don't fall off. And if I push everything one way, look how much room is still left for shopping. <laughs> So yeah, highly recommend if you haven't done that already, do it. So this was like a recent addition. I'm not a big fan of it, I have to say, but it was just to give some dimension to my filming background. So uh, it's four of those IKEA boxes, display boxes to put my more delicate bags in, um, bags that I don't want dust to get on. Uh, so you can see I have my fabulous Fendi baguette. I just vacuumed it. That's how I clean it. Don't cry. It's fine. Uh, my Louis Vuitton capucine. Then I've got my LV Cannes bag, my LV Petit Boy Chapeau, and my trunk clutch, my My Lady Dior ABC, and my Chanel 19. And a few of you still asking what I'm doing with that, I do not know. This is the same wallpaper I have in my main bathroom and we use the offcuts to just decorate the back of this little hob here, the back of which is our laundry cupboard. So the idea being if we ever moved, we could just rip that wall out, close up the French doors here and then it would go back to being a bedroom. All right, we've got some storage up the top uh, and these are boxes in boxes in boxes and there are a lot and shopping bags why do I keep them I don't know I'm sure lots of us do and then inside of these is all old sunglasses and fascinators from when I used to go to a lot of country race meets this chandelier my husband bought me for one of the first years that we were in this house because um, he thought it reminded him of Carrie Bradshaw's closet the big built for her so I was like how beautiful Took forever to put the thing together, but um, it's really special little touch. Then I've got some bags that hang because they're just easier to hang for storage. So I've got my LV tambourine bag or tambourine, whatever, however you say it. This bag here that was made by Supercrete from a pair of Louis Vuitton um, multicolored jeans that were repurposed. And if you haven't seen me show this in some of my videos, it's like so cool. I've also got my Prada 2005 re-edition uh, hanging here as well because it's on a canvas um, strap so it makes sense just to have these ones hanging. Then I've got all of my long hanging dresses. So there's quite a lot of, well they're not all long, some of them are short and some of them are longer over here. And this is where hubby gets a little opportunity to put some things in the wardrobe because we do share this space. So he's got some shoes here, he's got some shoes under there, and he also has some bits and pieces in other areas of the house. He has his pants and jackets, and he's got jackets elsewhere, and then he's got jackets and shirts, and to be honest, if it was up to him, it would all be everywhere. It's really me that keeps this tidy because I use this room for filming, so um, yeah, he doesn't, he's not very good at keeping it tidy at all. So if I pan back, this is kind of what you see behind me when I am filming. All right, and then we've got these two shelving units here. Um, that's all hubby side, so jumpers, dress shorts, t-shirts, and then I've stolen this bit for my t-shirts and bits, and then all of his personal bits down there. And in my side, well, it's been taken up with bags. So I have my bags arranged uh, Chanel boutique style, like a bookshelf. And I always try and keep a buffer between my Valentino spike bags. This is a Jimmy Choo clutch, which is pretty hardy. And my lambskin bags, because you do not want those Valentino spikes getting on those bags. And you can see here, all the bags lined up. And then I have my set of drawers, which are all mine. Um, so I've got, you know, smalls and things, socks. And then down here, I've got sunglasses, um, receipts and bits and pieces. And, you know, all of those little trinkets, cosmetic bags and things. There's an old Henry Bendel set. Um, but basically all small kind of boxes. And then in the bottom, 
I have all of my scarves and gloves and you can imagine in the subtropics that drawer hardly ever gets used. I keep my overnight case um, for business trips just here so it's easy to get to. This is a Zimmerman beach bag and it's full of belts. All of my belts are in there except for my one designer belt which is my recently acquired Bottega belt and then I've got all my bag straps and bits and pieces um, hanging on the hook behind there. What else do I need to show you? Um, in the bottom of this kind of open area here I've got swimmers and things like that in that box and I've got some random boxes and a box of tags and buttons in the back of that wardrobe where you get those spare buttons that you keep so basically if I do a bit of a spin uh, this is what I look at when I film so I've got that natural light kind of streaming through it's always my preference and yeah this is it. Can you imagine this being a bedroom? It'd be tiny, tiny, tiny. So uh, thanks for joining me on my closet tour. Um, I do keep clothes and bits and pieces in other areas of the house, but um, for privacy reasons, I am not going to share those with you. So um, I hope you have enjoyed this tour. Okay, I um told you the wardrobe tour wasn't that fantastic so uh, hopefully that that um, alleviates you know any queries that people have about the wardrobe sorry about the angle but um, I've had to collect I've had to pick up little Edwina because she's been jumping up on me saying pay me some attention I'm lonely so um, we just got the text to say that Alfie is ready to go and pick up he has been transformed so we'll go and do that. Um, we haven't had any breakfast. I, try, I, I tend not to really have breakfast unless I'm on holidays. It's a weird thing. Just have a couple of coffee to start the day. And then um, we'll have a nice lunch though. So uh, I will make lunch when I get back. And then after lunch, I am going to tell you about the giveaway from Louis Vuitton, how you can enter, um, when I'm going to draw it and all of those sorts of things. So I'm really excited um, to have a giveaway for you and I hope it's something that many of you would be interested in and might like uh, because I like mine. There's a little hint. <laughs> you look good, Alf. Yeah, do you think she looked good too? Okay, so I'm going to make up a little bit of lunch now. This is what I call a poke bowl. It's not traditionally a poke bowl, but um, I am going to use some leftover roast sweet potato. I have some leftover roast pork, which I have already cooked up with some honey, soy, and sesame seeds. I'm just gonna reheat all of this in the fry pan. And I've got some leftover steamed broccoli. So I've got some rice, also some instant rice cooking in the microwave as well. So I'm just gonna heat all this up so it's nice and crispy and delicious. To dress my poke bowl, I'm making a sauce out of one part sesame oil, two parts premium light soy. So you can hear that sizzling away now. I just wanna warm it through. So it's already been cooked. But I find heating things up on a fry pan makes them way more tasty than if you microwave them. Because microwaving food that's meant to be hot, I don't know. I don't like the flavour of it. Do you guys want to see this stuff? Because I do not know what to put in a vlog. And I feel like it's going to be really long just because I have the time to do it today. So. Anyway, we'll see how today goes. If you don't watch it, then I'll get feedback. All right, so we're going to assemble. Got our rice here. I just heated that up in the microwave. That's brown rice. That too. Doesn't take very long, especially with leftovers. And if I don't have leftovers, I actually, well, 
usually I'll use leftover steak. And if I don't have that, I will use leftover, I will cook up some salmon. And there we go. But it's a great leftover meal and it's really um, tasty. Then, Kewpie mayonnaise. If you have not tried Kewpie, you need to. And we just go squiggle like that. Pandaroo sushi seasoning. It's got nori and sesame and um, furikake, whatever that is. It's very tasty. I sprinkle that over the top. And then we have the sauce that I made up before of sesame oil and soy. And I just pour that primarily on the rice and the veg so that it soaks in. And there you have it. That is a lunch. Okay, I'm keeping it real, this vlog mess. Um, <laughs> I did not expect to be doing this vlog, just uh, not even with makeup or having done my hair. I've literally just been running around ever since I forgot to take Alfie to his haircut this morning. Um, so I thought I would get into the advent calendar, then tell you about the Louis Vuitton giveaway and then leave you alone because this vlog is going to be longish as well. Um, sorry about that. So as you know, uh, I'm only gonna do the Adore Beauty calendar every second day because that's only 12 days. So I've got parcel number two to open from the Peony parcel calendar. And I did rummage through and find it already because um, there's lots of packages in there. And some of the numbers, you know, you can only just see them because of the wrapping paper. So I don't know what this one might be. I think it could be a cream or a lipstick or something based on the, on the shape. But we'll have a look. It is a cream. It is a cream. It's Aveda Rosemary Mint Body Lotion. Um, they do beautiful products, so I think that will be another great traveling. Oh, smells super fresh too. Um, that will smell divine after a bath or a shower. So yeah, I'm happy about that also. Um, these are quality products. It's um, it's going to be. I'm going to have quite a collection between these two calendars when I get there. So, this one. I will unbox it and then I promise I will box it back up. But this is my first giveaway and it's for the month of Vlogmas. So, I will close the giveaway on the 24th of December at midnight Australian time. Uh, so, that's the first thing. The second thing is, do you actually want to enter this giveaway? So you will get a gift receipt, but I will be blanking out my personal details. You will also get all of this packaging as well. And inside here, you can see there's a shopping bag underneath the box. So any guesses as to what this might be? I'm going to do what I don't normally do and kind of peel this ribbon off around the side so that I can pop it back on as beautifully as it has been put on there. We'll open the little drawer to reveal. Don't you just love the smell of new Louis? I've got for you a monogram four ring key holder. Uh, this one is just a little, oh, it's made in France too, if you can see that. Um, I've got a six ring key holder, but I know a lot of people use mini bags and a lot of people prefer the four key um, holder. So I thought I'd go with the four ring key holder for this one. This also does have a little slip pocket underneath as well. And there is the Louis Vuitton textile card and a QR code there. Um, I'm yeah, pretty excited. I said it was small, but it is one of those classic pieces that just fits in your handbag ever so effortlessly and protects the inside of your handbag from keys scratching it also keeps your keys in one place also looks very chic whilst doing it 
I purposefully just got the brass button because the coated buttons from everything that I've seen always discolour or scratch and the brass shows through so I actually think it's better just to have it brass straight away then you're not going to get that kind of worn away scratching. So if you would like to win a giveaway for this for ring key holder brand new from Louis Vuitton here's what you need to do. Firstly, you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Secondly, I'd love it if you could give this video a thumbs up. And thirdly, if you can comment down below, because you were going to comment anyway, right? But if you could comment with the words L-O-V-E-L-V, -E one word, capital letters, I'll put it on the screen here. That will tell me that you've gotten this far and you're interested in entering the giveaway. If you would like an additional opportunity to win this giveaway, then I want you to head over to my Instagram page at Dale's Addiction. I'll pop that down below here and it's always linked to my channel page. And you need to go and find this picture. I will not be labeling it in any way. And under that picture, I'd love you to give it a heart and also comment L-O-V-E-L-V. -E I'll close entries, as I said, at midnight Australian time on Christmas Eve, the 24th of December. And I will announce the winner on a YouTube video and also on a community post and also on an Instagram post. You'll also need to leave me your Instagram handle or an email address in your comment below so that I can get in touch with you if you are the winner. If the winner does not respond to me within seven days, so by New Year's Eve, I will redraw the giveaway winner. So please keep an eye out and make sure you follow those instructions. I'm not going to put the instructions in the description box below because that just means that people who don't hang around here very often can get hold of them and be in competition with you to win this beautiful little piece of Louis Vuitton. So once again, those instructions, subscribe to my channel, like, give this video a thumbs up, comment below and add to your comment L-O-V-E-L-V -E and add your Instagram handle or your email address so that I can get in touch with you. Additionally, if you want extra entries, please go to Instagram, follow me there, find that picture that I will pop up again here like it and comment L-O-V-E-L-V -E and good luck. I'm going to sign off and go and do some more work. I think we've had plenty to talk about today. I have received notice from my Louis Vuitton essay that due to the very sad passing of Virgil Abloh, the cocktail event tomorrow night has been cancelled. So I think that's not surprising and um, it's nice to see that they are going to take some time and honor Virgil's contribution to Louis Vuitton. They will reschedule the cocktail event to sometime later this month. Hopefully, if they do, um, I will definitely take you along with me. But until then, I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Uh, it should be a lot shorter tomorrow, um, hopefully. So yeah, bear with me guys. It's my first vlogmas. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, ciao. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.